We're back on the Geek Speak Radio Show. We're talking to Debbie Wise, who's the owner of one the wonderful world of animation art the gallery. Um, so I was gonna, I was gonna what Damon I think has a question also. Oh no, I was yeah I was gonna ask uh, Debbie. I was uh, what are some of the cartoons uh, that you watch nowadays? Some of the newer ones. The newer ones. Um, I really like Family Guy. I, I'm friends with one of the fellows that works on there and uh, who's super nice. And I just think that that is really it, it took a little while, but it really found its voice. And I think it pushes the edge. I mean, you couldn't get away with that in live action. So, and I think the characters, I love Stewie. I think Stewie is great, and he really seems to bring it every time. Uh, I, I do watch The Simpsons. I think that it can be a little hot or cold. I prefer The Simpsons when they're The Simpsons. Let Homer be Homer. Let Bart be Bart. I, I don't like it so much when they're taken out of the world and they're playing with celebrities and things like that. I really want them to be who they are. That's what I like uh, best about them. Uh, and another great thing about The Simpsons is they really appeal to adults and kids. And it seems like a lot of the cartoons, you know, like a lot of the Nickelodeon ones tend to be more kid-friendly or some of them, you know, can be a little edgy like Family Guy to adult. Um, and that's what I kind of like about The Simpsons. And I think that's one of the reasons we sell so much Simpsons art is because you get a piece in The Simpsons, the whole family can relate to it. And that's really kind of fun. I, um, I don't watch a lot of the newer things that tend to be out there, but things have definitely changed. I think certainly Disney. I feel like the Disney films, there's something very magical, very timeless. And if you actually look at the quality you know, of the art and you look at the quality of the films, I mean, they're incredibly well done, particularly if you think about what uh, they had available to them in terms of tools 50 years ago and so on and so forth. Uh, in terms of computer, you know, there was no computers back then helping them. And I feel like when I'm looking at the, a lot of the newer cartoons now, they just feel very flat. The characters feel very, you know, kind of one-dimensional. I just don't feel like there's this attention to, like, the storyline and the character development. It just, I don't know, it just seems more like they're advertising toys or something. It just doesn't have the same magic for me. Do you sell anything from Pixar? The thing with Pixar, there's no original art to sell from when movies are computerized. So uh, it's not something that I follow as closely because we don't really have the art to sell from those films. But I, I would say that Pixar does things very, very well. I would agree with that statement. Speaking of back, getting back to the, the, the gallery, do you do appraisals? Let's say somebody's listening right now and they have a collection and they're thinking, hmm, maybe I can call Debbie and she can appraise it for do you, do you do that for them? Absolutely. If someone just wants a value and it's usually for insurance purposes, we can do that and we charge a small fee. Um, per piece to do that. If someone's looking to sell art to us and um, they're seriously interested in selling a piece, we can give them an idea what it's worth. We don't charge for that Uh, because, you know, we want to take it in and then sell the piece. Do you go to to their collection or you want them to bring to you or how how would you go about doing that? uh, They're certainly welcome to bring it in if they want to, but we're able to do it uh, by getting JPEGs and looking at the images. And if we have any questions on anything, uh, we can always ask them for clarification if we need to. Okay, and I'm sure it's on the website. But, uh, go ahead and give everybody the uh, the contact information. Uh, certainly, our website is animationartgallery.com, and we have an area on there that's art for sale, and you can get information on either selling or appraisals on that page. Okay, and you can also go to geekspeakvideoshow.com. We do have it linked on there. What? What's the matter, Damien? <laughs> I uh, just wanted to ask, Debbie, do you have any events coming up uh, for the gallery? We have some events that are not animation-related. We are uh, also, um, L.A. is a really great scene for a lot of this art that's coming up that's um, kind of the lowbrow art scene. And so what we've been doing is expanding the gallery, and we're having a lot of great shows roughly about every six weeks uh, where um, our guys will come up with an idea, say, like, the devil made me do it or off the strip, and then we invite artists to participate. So you get a whole really cool variety of the artist's interpretation of that theme. And so uh, we have regular um, events like that, and if anyone wants to be invited to that, they can also uh, email us for us to uh, you know, send them previews and things online. Certainly it's the most fun if you can come in person, but it doesn't mean you're excluded if you don't live in the L.A. area. And they're certainly welcome to contact us if they would like to be involved in that. Right, let's say somebody's listening right now also, and they want to start a collection. What do, would you suggest? And they don't have anything in particular. They're, they're not a Batman person, a Tom and Jerry person. They just want to start 
collecting animation cells. Would you suggest anything to them? Yes, I would. I think the first thing to do, which I think is very important, and I used to, uh, the magazine's not active anymore, but I used to write for actively for a magazine in England called Collectibles, and I'm a big proponent of educate yourself. So find out what a limited edition is, a serious cell, lithographs, original art, concept art. Get an idea of what all the different pieces are because it can be very confusing. If you walk in a gallery, you might have a different perception thinking you're buying an original piece when it's a limited edition because you're, you haven't educated yourself. And different galleries educate people to different degrees. So I think it's a very important thing. And I think that with any collectible, you know, educate yourself, know um, a little bit about what you're looking for, call up a gallery or a few galleries, get a sense of who you feel comfortable with, and try to get an idea of your goal. It doesn't mean you have to say, oh, I only want Batman. But have an idea, say, of your price range. Do you tend to like more colorful things? Do you tend to like the drawings? Give the gallery something to help point you in the right direction. And, for example, we have people who just want to collect things from Snow White. We have people that just want concept art. There's some people who just go, hey, I'll know it when I like it, when I see it. And there's other things that can happen where people will collect themes. I think one of the more unusual ones is we have a guy that only likes people hitting each other, say like a club <laughs> or something. Uh, so sometimes people have very specific themes, or sometimes people will collect, say, the princesses. So the thing is to just, you know, start, educate yourself, read about it, get a good feel for what the prices are, and find a place that you have a good feeling about and start a relationship with them. And, you know, let them help you. That's their job. Okay, David, before I let you go, let me ask you, do you yourself, do you own any original works? Absolutely. That's how I started. I started collecting. So I tend to like things that are very, very cute, like Dumbo and Bambi, and then I tend to like some of the evil villains. So I have some great Maleficent and witches and queens from Snow White, uh, things like that. So I do, again, tend to go very cute and very bitchy. I'm not sure what that says about me, but um, <laughs> that's what I tend to really like. So we're talking to Debbie Weiss. Uh, Debbie, thank, thank you very much for coming on the show today. It was my pleasure. Thank you. It's uh, the wonderful world of animation. It's an actual gallery. And if you're in the Southern California area, you can go there. Uh, or you can go on the website. Um, it's linked up on GeekSpeakRadioShow.com. This is the GeekSpeak Radio Show.